So far this year in the U.S., we have experienced the largest growth on year-to-year -year sales date of any luxury brand, nearly 35 percent. That percentage rise is reflective of the strongest first quarter in Audi of America's history in terms of sales volume in this important market. In America, we are experiencing an enviable problem. We're constrained by the fact that we seem to have more customers than cars. This is in part because the results of what we're seeing here are also echoed elsewhere. Globally, we have outsold Mercedes-Benz over the first quarter, and we are perhaps less than 2,000 units behind the number one luxury automaker by volume terms, BMW. In China, we've already sold over 50,000 units in the first three months. So there were a lot of people who a few years ago, when we announced very publicly our ambitions to be the most attractive premium automaker in the world by 2015, who thought that we would never get there. It's 2010. We're almost there. More heartening for me is the fact that we are not simply benefiting, though, from a rising tide that is lifting all boats. After the first quarter here in the USA, our share of the luxury market is at around 8.3 percent, a full percentage point above year-ago figures. And last week, we received, the re we received the results of the latest NADA survey, and we're proud that our dealers ranked us at the top of the list in terms of having the products that people want, and optimism that the value of the Audi franchise will increase over the next 12 months. And so we feel very good about our performance.